Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging and welcome to the range test of the BMW i5. The BMW i5 eDrive 40 to be precise. Yes, the least powerful version of the BMW i5. And I do have this version on purpose because power is fun, efficiency is better. Yeah, least power also means most efficiency. A 82 kilowatt hour battery pack and a WLTP range of 560 kilometers for the eDrive 40. But I will not get that 560 kilometers today because it is a bit windy. It is also winter, that means it is currently 9 degrees Celsius. It will cool down to 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. And also this car is fully loaded, so that means bigger rims. But I do wonder what this car will get, because from my experience, BMWs, BMWs yes, are quite efficient. Anyway, you know the drill, I will do one test at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions. And I will do one test at 130 km per hour. The car is now charging up quite slowly. It is charging with 58 kilowatts and it can take 200, yeah. But anyway, I will wait and then let's go. Hello and welcome to the new range test view where hopefully you'll see what I see. And then you also see that driving 90 km per hour in Germany is freaking boring. Look how fast they are passing me, damn. It's already boring in the Netherlands and it's even more boring here in Germany, but all for the greater good, right? All for the greater good. But now I can turn my head and now you can see the interior of the new BMW i5. It is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, therefore you have to watch my review because this is the range test. I have used 10% state of charge because I have started my test with 77% state of charge. It's now at 67. And on that 10% I have driven 49 kilometers. So that means a range of 400 and 90 kilometers it seems like right now the average consumption is 17.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and when i turn around not yet probably in half an hour or so half an hour 45 minutes but when i turn around my consumption should stay about the same because the wind is coming from the east i'm driving north when i turn around i will be driving south so then there is still wind from the east so that doesn't matter for the test but we will see, we will see. Hopefully you enjoyed this view and hopefully the GoPro is properly on my head. And yeah, this is what you will see from now on during range tests. Yep, yep. And well, I will get to you when the next update is done. I have to keep my head still, otherwise you will be shaking. All right, it is a bit darker outside. As you can see, the ambient light in the car is now on. For some reason, the previous driver turned it off permanently, but it looks amazing. It is a bit dim at the moment, but when it gets darker outside, it will probably be better. I like it. Really well done, BMW. Really well done. Anyway, the car has used 33% state of charge, and on the 33%, I've done 151 kilometers. So, for some reason, the consumption is going up when driving south, and I don't know why. I really don't know why. But that means a range of 450 kilometers. Hmm, that is a bit more than I expected though, because on my way north, it seemed like I could do 500 kilometers. Maybe, maybe the state of charge scale is not linear and that explains why, just like the Korean cars. But that is also the reason why I drive from around 75% to around, the idea is to around 25% so you have that nice bit in the middle so if you have more range at the top than at the bottom it will even out a little bit at least that is my theory so yeah we'll keep on cruising again 450 kilometers it's a bit disappointing if I'm completely honest but it is what it is and maybe it will go down even more sorry I'm turning my head I'm not used to having a camera on my head I have to keep my head still Yes, for you. Anyway, final result at the charger. All right, so here is the result of the 90 kilometers per hour test. I started the test with 77% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 27%. So that means I've used 
on that 50%, I have driven 226 kilometers. So do that times two, and you have a range of 452 kilometers. The average consumption was 17.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I have to say, looking back, while doing the test, I was a bit disappointed at this result, but looking back, the eDrive 40 has a WLTP range of 560 kilometers, but it is around seven degrees Celsius. It was around seven degrees Celsius during my test. At the moment, it is five degrees Celsius and it is quite windy. I expected the wind to lay down a bit, but it doesn't. And this is a five meter long sedan, so it is a big car. So it is okay, it is okay. In summer, yes, you can get close to the WLTP range of this car. I expect to, yes, I expect to. Is that proper English? I don't know. Anyway, it's time for the 130 kilometers power test. Alrighty, time for the 130 kilometers power test. Let's go on the Autobahn. And I do have a pedal behind my steering wheel that says boost. And what you basically do is put the car in sports mode, maximum acceleration for 10 seconds. I think this car has it because it has the amp package, but yeah, whatever, it's fun. And even though this is the least powerful version, it still does zero to 100 in six seconds. So boost mode, power, oh yeah. Sorry, I sometimes forget I have a GoPro on my head now. Well, I am already at 130 kilometers per hour and I cannot do more because, well, this is the 130 kilometers per hour test. So let's cruise 133 kilometers an hour because that is 130 GPS speed. And then, well, let's drive. This is at least a lot better than driving 90 while everyone is doing 130 kilometers per hour plus. But hey, uh, yeah. Time for the test. Let's keep driving. The car was charged to 80%. I think so. I haven't checked. 79 or 80% because charging was finished, it said. So yeah, let's just keep on going. It is almost done. Almost. Come on. Come on. You might think, what? Well, the car has almost used 10% state of charge. Yes, it did now. And on the 10%, I have done 29 kilometers so that looks like a range of 290 kilometers and I have to be honest I expected a bit better from this BMW i5 I expected more than 300 kilometers of range but it seems like we were we will not be able to do that unfortunately yeah I expected more than 300 kilometers in these conditions I really did I really did Anyway, the average consumption is 28.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. Yeah, well, can I say more? The car is quiet on smooth surfaces. I have to say on rougher surfaces, I expected a big German sedan to be a little more quiet than it is. I mean, an x P7 or G9 are more quiet than this 5 series. That is, yeah, that is something else. Anyway, I will keep on cruising. Next update when I have used 33% state of charge. I'm still driving 135 kilometers an hour. Yes, I am driving a little bit faster than I should. And the reason for that is that normally when driving south, I was sure that there were no roadworks and I could just hammer it. Top speed, 130 kilometers an hour. Didn't matter, doesn't matter. But now I was doing the same. I was driving south. I was doing 135 kilometers an hour and boom, roadworks. There are now roadworks when driving south. So I had to look for a turnaround point. And that took a while because there was no exit when I was in the roadworks. So I drove a bit slower. So yeah, I turned around eventually, but that also meant that I drove a bit slower during this test and I did not drive 130 kilometers per hour all the way. And that is the reason why I am driving faster at the moment. Yeah, that was a mouthful. Anyway, when I, have, when I had used 33% state of charge, I had driven 100 kilometers. So that means a range of 300 kilometers while doing this speed. And I have to say, again, it is a bit better than before, but still 
a little bit disappointing. I mean, it is a 80 kilowatt hour battery pack, sleek sedan. Yes, it is colder, six degrees Celsius, but still, I expected more than 300 kilometers of range of this car. I had high hopes for BMW because I know BMW makes efficient cars. Oh well, it is what it is. You will get the result at the charger. So here is the result of the 130 kilometers power test. I started the test with 79% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 27%. So that means I've used 52%. On that 52% I have driven 159 kilometers. So the range with the i5 eDrive 40 while driving 130 kilometers power is 306 kilometers. The average consumption was 25.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And again, just like the 90 test, while doing my test, I was a bit disappointed at the result, but looking back, an average consumption of 25.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers with a temperature of around five to six degrees Celsius. And well, it is still windy. For a five meter long car, even though it is a sedan, it's not bad, it's not bad. But my result of the 90 test and 130 kilometers per hour test will of course be a bit worse if you have the x drive 40 so with all wheel drive or the m60 so those cars do have less range in these conditions than the car that i am driving fyi yeah and that is that, that was it actually uh was that it maybe in summer, I do expect though that you can get a range of around 330 to 340 kilometers. And then, well, makes, that makes this a great car for the long distance. It charges relatively fast, 10 to 80% in 30 minutes. It is comfortable, it is quiet, and it can drive for quite some time while doing higher speeds. So again, great car for the longer distance. And yeah, that was it. <laughs> wow, that was messy. If you like this, please give a like and well, more important, subscribe and well, leave a comment. You can always leave a comment if you want to. And then thank you a lot for watching and as always, to be continued. Mm -hmm.